Today I'm going to discuss ways they stored eggs back in the old days. Now I'm getting this information from books that were written in the 1800s, so before you try any of these ideas, be sure to research them thoroughly and make sure that they're safe by today's standards. Now eggs carry the risk of salmonella poisoning, and to better understand what's needed to preserve them, I'm going to explain about um, salmonella. Uh, salmonella can be on both the inside or outside of eggs. The larger the number of salmonella bacteria present in the egg, the more likely the egg is to cause illness. Keeping eggs refrigerated prevents any salmonella present in the eggs from growing to higher numbers. Cooking can destroy salmonella, so eggs need to be cooked thoroughly. The symptoms of salmonella are fever, abdominal cramps, um, and diarrhea beginning 12 to 72 hours after eating contaminated food and it can last for several days. It's rarely fatal but children, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems are more vulnerable. According to IncredibleEgg.org, salmonella is only present in about 1 in 20,000 eggs and if it's there, it's usually in the white and as the egg ages and the white becomes thinner, the salmonella can reach the yolk, which is rich with nutrients where the bacteria can rapidly grow. In case you don't know this, chickens need 12 hours of daylight in order to lay eggs. So when the days get shorter in the winter, the chickens quit laying. So uh, in the old days, they would try to store up as many eggs as they could during the spring and summer to get them through that um, the winter when they had a shortage of eggs. Today the solution is simple. If you have electricity you can just put a light in the hen house and they'll keep laying through the winter. It looks like they didn't understand that the uh, reason that chickens quit laying eggs was due, due to um, daylight because I haven't seen any of them suggest putting a light in the hen house. I did see a few of them say that sometimes if you kept the hen house warm that the chickens would keep laying through the winter. And it was probably the light that was being given off from whatever heat source they were using that was making that work. If you're off grid, you could probably put a uh, solar light in the chicken house, but of course, I don't know how long term that is because the solar lights are only as good as their batteries. Um, somebody, some of you might be able to answer that one. So nearly every one of the old cookbooks I've gone through has described a method for storing eggs, and they've ranged from packing eggs in salt or in bran or and um, sand and dirt, you name it. Um, they, they would cover the eggs with uh, varnish or in lard or in butter. There's all sorts of methods uh, described in there, but in the interest of time, I'm just going to describe the two that work the best. What they were doing was trying to keep the egg from being exposed to air. Eggs are porous, they're not airtight, so uh, if they're exposed to air, uh, evaporation goes on and air gets into the egg, and as that happens, the white will become thinner and it's uh, less able to support the weight of the yolk. According to a book that I read that was written in 1885 about preserving eggs, there are a couple of uh, things you need to do in order to preserve eggs. Uh, one of the things is to keep it from being exposed to air. Uh, another thing is to keep it at low temperatures without freezing. Um, and the book said that fluctuations in temperature weren't good either. However, they did say that people were able to uh, store eggs and keep them through the heat of the summer. According to that book, another thing that you need to do is to keep the egg in an upright position. If it's on, if an egg is laying on its side, then the yolk comes into close contact with the shell, which can lead to early spoilage. Um, one of the reasons for that is there's a membrane that surrounds the yolk, and you, the, you, what you need to do is to keep that membrane intact. Uh, and when it's on its side, that membrane tends to stretch out, it becomes oblong and stretches out, and which can lead to breakage. If you keep it upright, 
the yolk stays more centered within the white of an egg. Nearly all of the methods said to keep the egg in an upright position so that the pointed end of the egg is downward. They also said that you need to use fresh eggs and less than 24 hours old if possible and um, infertile eggs if possible and the eggs should not be washed. When a uh, chicken lays an egg, it has a protective coating on it called bloom, and uh, that bloom helps to keep the egg from going bad. Store-bought eggs have had that bloom washed off of them uh, as required by the USDA, so it's best to use um, eggs that have been laid at home by a chicken rather than store-bought eggs. Okay, during the 1800s, the most successful way to store eggs was with a lime water method. And I'm going to read the directions to you from a booklet that was issued by the Animal Husbandry Division of the United States Department of Agriculture in 1918. Here's the lime water method. They said, eggs laid during April, May, and early June have been found to keep better than those laid later in the season. If satisfactory results are to be obtained, the eggs should be fresh and clean and, if possible, infertile. Eggs that float when placed in the solution are not fresh and therefore cannot be preserved. When an egg is only slightly soiled, a cloth dampened with vinegar can be used to remove such stains. Under no circumstance should badly soiled or cracked eggs be used before preserving. If put into the jar while dirty, they will spoil and washing removes a protective coating which prevents spoiling. Dissolve two or three pounds of unslacked lime in five gallons of water that has previously been boiled and allowed to cool and allow the mixture to stand until the lime settles and the liquid is clear. Place clean, fresh eggs in a clean earthenware crock or jar and pour the clear lime water into the vessel until the eggs are covered. At least two inches of the solution should cover the top layer of eggs. Sometimes a pound of salt is used with the lime, but experience has shown that in general the lime without the salt is more satisfactory. Now, I have read that using the lime water method, sometimes the eggs would taste like lime. And if the lime solution is too strong, it'll eat the shells off of the eggs. And I've also looked up um, unslacked lime, which at times it's also called quick lime. And uh, it's kind of hazardous stuff to work with. It has, um, it, it can, uh, eat the skin off your hands or uh, you have to be careful not to breathe it or get it in your eyes it could cause blindness so for that reason i'm not too keen on storing eggs in lime water uh, but you can make that decision for yourself another method that was successful and this seems to have come about around the early 1900s is a water glass method and with this, they use something called water glass, which is sodium silicate, uh, which is basically a liquid glass. Uh, for this one, they say use one quart of sodium silicate to nine quarts of water that has been boiled and cooled. Place the mixture in a five gallon crock or jar. This will be sufficient to preserve 15 dozen eggs. Make sure that at least two inches of the solution covers the eggs at all times. Place the crock in a cool, dry place, well covered, to prevent evaporation. When eggs preserved in water glass are to be boiled, a small hole should be made in the shell with a pin at the large end before placing them in the water. This is done to allow the air in the egg to escape when heated so as to prevent cracking. Now, Mother Earth News did an experiment where they tried a lot of these different methods and um, in the end, what they did was they concluded that eggs kept in the refrigerator kept the best. But for a non-refrigerated method, the water glassing did turn out to be the best method. Um, the, the, I think they had a little bit of success with the lime method as well. But the water glass method, from what I understand, is the best method of all to use.
Now, if you wanted to try the lime water method, uh, the they call for unslacked lime. They also call it quick lime, and I believe it's calcium oxide. I think that it's the type of lime that is used to make concrete. I don't think that it's the type of lime that is used in a garden. And um, pickling lime is considered a slacked lime, so I don't know if that would work or not. Um, but pickling lime is a food grade slack lime. If you wanted to use the water glass method, there's actually a product that is made by Rutland, which is a cement floor sealer. And it actually gives directions for using this floor sealer in order to preserve eggs. Lehman's even sells this um, cement floor sealer as an egg preservative. And there's another website out there that has it uh, cheaper than Lehman's. And if I, if I can find that again, I'll put a link in the description box. According to a website called Preparedness Pro, you can uh, preserve eggs just by putting warmed mineral oil on the eggs and then storing them with the pointed end downward. So I'm going to put that to a test. I took half a dozen eggs and I covered it with mineral oil and I'm putting them out in the garage. And I'm also putting half a dozen eggs out there that I'm not doing anything to, to kind of use that as a, something to compare it to. And I put half a dozen eggs in the refrigerator to uh, be able to compare the refrigerated ones to the, the, one, the unrefrigerated. And given the uh, requirement that the eggs need to be um, protected from air, I want to find out if you could just put some eggs in a jar and vacuum seal it. And I know that if you were doing this, it would be because you don't have electricity, most likely. So I put some eggs in a jar, and in order to keep them upright within the jar, I put some rice in there and um, vacuum sealed the jar without electricity with a brake line bleeder. I haven't seen too many people discussing this in the prepper community, but you can use a brake line bleeder to vacuum seal jars without electricity. So I, I vacuum sealed up six eggs, and I'm going to come back in about three months and crack at least one egg of each of these categories, and we'll see how it turned out. Now, my chickens aren't laying right now. I decided to give them the winter off. And so I bought some store-bought eggs. And the, the according to Preparedness Pro, they're having success storing eggs with the mineral oil uh, with store-bought eggs. So I'm not... Um, I don't have the most favorable conditions since I'm using the store-bought eggs, but... Most likely, that's what a lot of people would want to do anyways, if they could get the eggs on sale cheap and then store them. So, we're going to see how it'll work out with the store-bought eggs. Also, there is a way that you can test an egg to see if it's fresh or not. If you put an egg in a bowl of water, and if it lays on the bottom of the bowl, then it's fresh. But if it kind of stands up on end or bobs in the water, then the egg is stale. And if it floats on the water, then it's rotten. By the way, that booklet claimed that the lime water method and the water glass method would preserve eggs for 8 to 12 months. I believe the Mother Earth News experiment uh, said that they thought it would they would last maybe 5 months. So we're going to crack them open in a few months and see what we have. Hope it helps.